Here the number of white balls how many? The number of white ball is 40. So the number of favorable outcomes in the symbolically we written like a small letter M. How many A's you are able to get? You are getting only one A, right? Alphabets. If any experiment, if you try to carry, of course the total outcomes you need to find out, the samples you have to find out. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidyashram First Grade College, Mysuru, the Temple of Excellence. We are in the Unit 3, Session 3, Third Semester BCom, Business Statistics, Probability Distribution. In the last two session, which is related to the probability, and uh, you have uh, well familiar about the what kind of experiment. Okay, moving forward, my today agenda. So in the last class, I have explained uh, which is related to approach. Uh, so only for the theory part. Now we are moving forward for the problem basis. The first approach we already discussed in the classical approach and really relative frequency approach few problems you can get to more clarity on the classical approach and relative frequency approaches once again i'm uh, recalling here the classical probability assessment is also called mathematical okay or priori probability measurement because when the samples a finite number when you are trying to take okay the countables number which is related to the classical probability distribution so when you are trying to go for solving the problem which is completely the approach which is talking related to the classical probability so it had a begin with the game of chance the probability you know uh, there is something like uh, you are probably you are expecting a result so here when the finite numbers you know there is a countable numbers you are identified of course we are trying to go for the finite related classical the game of chance and it is uh, still most of the discuss in this those term because uh, uh, here see the classical or you can say here mathematical priori probability so whenever the probability which is related to game so when you are trying to uh, go for tossing a coin either you are getting head or tile or rolling a dice you are getting one to six numbers any one numbers you are able to get so here uh, the finite numbers means uh, the numbers we are able to count here. The priori or mathematical or classical probability may be defined as follow. Okay, either you can say it is a classical or mathematical. Okay, so here, if any experiment, if you try to carry, of course, the total outcomes you need to find out the samples you have to find out. In case of coin, there are two phase. In case of uh, dice, there are six phase. Okay, so if out of n exhaust you, exhaust you means what the total outcomes from the experiment. So mutually exclusive, you are equally likely outcome of an experiment. When you are expecting head or tile, so one head came means, so tile you are not able to uh, appear. M is a favorable of the uh, occurrence of an event A. You can set for alphabets any event according to the first word you are choosing. For example, hard numbers means we are writing like ho, even numbers means E. Okay, so event anything you can set. Okay, when you try to conduct an experiment. So then the probability of A is a defined. The favorable, okay, so from the total outcomes, okay, in case of two coins, okay, each and every coin we are able to get 0 0.5, 0 0.5 from the one coin or you can say 1 by 2, okay. So the favorable result what you are expecting from the total outcomes. The probability of A occurring, I told uh, instead of writing A, you can write according to the word, uh, according to experiment, the first alphabets you are selecting. Okay, so a very simple formula. Because I have specified P, P of A, here I have specified A, that's what I consider here A. So the number of favorable outcomes in the symbolically we written like a small letter M. Okay, so exhaustive number of cases or total number of equally likely cases. So we are writing a small letter N. When you are trying to do for the probability related, you need to get a favorable result what you are expecting from the total outcomes. Moving forward. 
one question which is related to classical approach problem so which is talking related to finite number when there is an experiment is counted so what is the probability that the oval selected at a random from the book is a for example in the alphabets uh, we are able to identify there are four alphabets now the alphabets whatever they are asking the question which is related to ovals right so here uh, immediately you need to write so the number of ovals from the total alphabets 26 so a e i o u okay so uh, this is called your exhaustive cases how many outcomes we are getting the total outcomes we are getting five okay so here the question which is related to a how many a's you are able to get you are getting only one a right alphabets so the question the number of a is only one a so that's what the favorable cases we are identify with the help of a total five ovals we are able to identify there is only one a the probability that selected letter is a the number of favorable cases divided by total exhaustive exhaustive means total outcomes from the total ovals the question which is related to a so the favorable we are getting only one so here the probability that selected letter is a 1 by out of 5 so the equal the probability after getting a we need to calculate 0 0.2 we are getting moving forward one more questions second question in a box there are english letters in a box there is a english letters one letter is picked up at a random one letter is picked up at random what is the probability that it is oval that it is oval okay and what is the probability that it is t there are two question okay according to the question i just want to identify the total alphabets is a 26 okay now i need to write because uh, the box contain uh, there are for example which is a stick or printed whatever it may be but the question which is asking related to the english letters alphabets okay there are the total number of alphabets we are we are getting here 26 okay the first question what is the probability of uh, getting ovals okay there are five ovals a e i o u there are five the first question is five so then the probability now immediately now we, we need to go for f of x p of x huh? so the probability that is a oval the number of favorable cases because the total of alphabets we need to get the total alphabets is 26 so from the 26 only we are identified there are five ovals are there so i'm i'm writing here see numerator 5 divided by total outcomes okay which is nothing but when you're writing in a symbolic manner m divided by small letter n so the favorable which is related to ovals 5 divided by total alphabets 26 if you simplify you're getting 0 0.1923 okay now for moving to next question so what is the probability that it is a t a t number alphabets which is belongs to consonant so the consonant here the probability that it, it is a t there is only one t we are identified from the 26 alphabets we are identified only one t so directly we can write m plus i am writing one divided by n plus i am writing total alphabets 26 so if you simplify 0 0.03846 i am getting okay now the third question which is also uh, related to the classical approach problem so here from a single drawn a dice what is the probability of getting four numbers the die single dice okay the total samples if you are writing so total one two 3, 4, 5, 6. The total samples 6. Okay, from getting 4 numbers only one time. Okay, now next one. Getting in hard numbers we are getting. So, for example, hard numbers I have specified a P of O odd okay the first alphabets I have selected. So, when you are writing favorable, okay, hard numbers 1, 3, 5. Okay, if they are asking for even numbers, so 2, 4, 6. Okay, now the first uh, you need to write a dice as a six face, mark as a one, two, six. Okay, so here we have identified there are even numbers as well as odd numbers. So even numbers two, four, six, and even numbers. And here one, three, five are hard numbers. The question which is related, the first question is getting four number. Okay, so the here uh, the number of favorable cases divided by total number of exhaustive case when you are writing so like this you can say 
द पी ऑफ गेटिंग फोर नंबर्स गेटिंग फोर नंबर्स ओके द फेवरेबल सो सिंबॉलिकल विन वी आर राइटिंग स्मॉल लेटर एम डिवाइडेड बाय स्मॉल लेटर एन ओके इयर इन दिस केस we are getting only one numbers so the probability of getting four numbers okay only one because the total samples uh, six out of total sample six uh, we are identified only one four so we uh, we are writing one favorable cases i'm writing one the total samples i'm writing six okay that is equally probability if you simplify so 0.167 okay now second question getting an odd number in this case the getting an odd numbers have a separately uh, specified 1 3 5 or odd number so the three numbers okay now here the probability of getting so when you are writing small letter m divided by n so odd numbers how many numbers you are identified okay there are three numbers odd number the total samples are six okay three divided by six so if you again if you simplify Uh, three ones are three twos are okay. If you try to go for fraction value, zero point five. I am getting this is okay. Moving forward, there is one more question, so which is related to classical approach probability. So a bag contain forty white and sixty black ball. What is the probability that is a blind folded person obtain a white ball in the first draw? First draw. a pick a black ball in this second draw second time when he is picking second uh, black ball so the first ball draw being a replace okay replace and without replace replace means what after picking a first draw again he is keeping back into the box or contain whatever if it is there you need to identify the container or box or bag or whatever it be so again after draw the first ball again he keep it back okay so the total Here the number of white balls how many? The number of white ball is forty. So here directly alpha bits uh, W is equal to forty balls. I am getting and number of black ball first alpha bits B. So I am writing sixty. Total together how much we are getting? Around hundred balls. Okay. So the total ball in the box is a forty plus sixty. Okay. From the hundred balls only he try to pick a first draw and second draw. Okay. So the probability of drawing a white ball again the symbolically when we are writing small letter m divided by small letter n so the number of favorable cases is the first question which is related to first draw second question second draw okay the first question first ball drawn being a replace okay so again the here the first which is related to white ball so we are writing a numerator 40 Divided by total sample, okay, forty divided by total sample hundred, zero point four we are getting. Next, moving uh, similarly, the probability of drawing a black ball, black ball we identified sixty ball, sixty divided by total sample hundred, zero point six we are getting. Moving forward for the next approach, so relative. frequency approach or in the relative frequency approach which is related to infinite numbers when the numbers is not a, the experiment outcomes we are not predictable so in that case if there is any drawback from the previous approach of course we are try to go for the next approach which is related to relative frequency approach okay it this is called statistical or empirical or posterior probability so there are different names are specified so in the last session i have explained the complete theory part then also i am recalling here so the classical probability okay in the previous uh, approach of only the finite numbers related okay now this is a quite advanced approach uh, because in case of infinite numbers so we are try moving forward for the uh, relative approach okay so as seen above in the determined by the pure detectable reasoning okay that means when you are doing an experiment which is related to infinite numbers okay so in case of a classical approach only finite related uh, we are try to solve okay doing a experiment so it fail when the events are not equally likely or mutually exclusive or collectively exhaustive okay so in real world situation may arise when the outcomes are not equally likely 
or mutually exclude you or exhaust you in case of a not likely or not predictable not occurrence okay so in such case the posterior after the event probability is employed the formula is same here so the p of x the what you are expecting the number of occurrence of an event any experiment so divide by total number of trials okay what total numbers you how, what is there in the question moving the first question which is related to relative so here the record record of a maternity hospital show 638 male birth and 582 female birth in a year okay the experiment which is related to the maternity so the baby related okay birth related so if this is an a fair sample from the general population what is the probability that child to be born okay either the first question a girl a boy the first question which is now total samples we need to identify 638 plus 582 is a total sample okay in this case the event i have set for e okay so event e, e that is a girl child can be happening okay girl child how many so here 5 82 is a female that is a girl child always and can be fail is not happening okay that means actually when there is no you are not able to identify uh, girl birth means obviously which is a male birth okay so male birth 638 okay so now the probability favorable divided by total outcomes so here the e stand for girl baby Okay, P of E, number of occurrence of an event. Okay, divided by total number of trials. Okay, total number of trials. A girl baby, we are getting 582. So, numerator 582 divided by total sample. Together, birth we need to take. Okay, male as well as female. So, here 582 divided by 1220. Now, if you simplify, we are getting 0 0.48. So, the first question. Second question, boy. The probability of male child, so here the P of E dash we can say, okay, or you can, you can consider here the total male boy, male 638 divided by total samples together total. So we are getting 0 0.52. If you try the total probability always one, if you try to subtract the first question, 0 0.48 we are getting the same answer is equal okay moving forward there is one more simple question according to observation that telangana express arrived on the time 90 days during the last one year one year 365 days what is the probability that will be come on time today okay the p of is very simple here so the total observation we found here 90 days uh, which is a favorable result out of total number of days is a 365 days so m divided by n okay 90 divided by 365 day the simple answer is 0 0.25 moving forward so there is one more question okay in a class test, uh, the marks obtained by the student are tabulated and presented below. Okay, so here X series is given and the frequency also given. Now the X series 5, 10, 15, 20, the frequency 3, 12, 10, 5. Now question which is related to one student is picked up at a random. What is the probability that he get uh, 15 marks? What is the probability he get 15 marks? Directly we can say it is a 10. But then also we try to go for converting with the help of uh, probability manner. So here the X series I have written whatever it is given. So vertically I have written the frequency number of student. Even the vertical format I have written the total frequency total capital letter N is equal to 30. Now each and everything we need to take a probability. 3 divided by total sample, 3 divided by total sample, okay, again 12 divided by total sample, okay, total, okay, number, so 12, 10 divided by 30, and again last one, 5 divided by 30, if you try to identify uh, the question which is related to, you, the, he has to get 15 marks, 
सो फिफ्टीन मार्क्स यू वॉन्ट टू गेट मीन द प्रॉबिलिटी इज ए टेन बाय थर्टी बिकॉज डायरेक्टली देन ऑल्सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओनली वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई कीप ऑन वॉच फॉर नेक्स्ट सेक्शन थैंक यू